My name is Radim. This is my colleague uh, Peter. And uh, we are sorry that uh, we stole some time from your lounge break, but uh, we have some pretty amazing stuff to show you. Uh, we actually also stole this presentation from our colleague Murray. And uh, we will have a uh, like, pretty short version of this presentation because this was designed to be an hour long presentation. So we will show you some uh, uh, stuff which we will be, we have been working on in uh, Morphed, which is a company, an Australian based company. And uh, we have been working uh, with this team for uh, many months on uh, uh, paragraphs uh, module, not the paragraphs module, but uh, some addition to the paragraphs module. I don't know if you know paragraphs module. Yeah, no, not not at all. <laughs> I think, and uh, this module allows uh, you to uh, do stuff like uh, this. These are examples for uh, some modern approaches. Then, when you have this edge-to-edge uh, -edge design, and uh, it's uh, hard to editors to create such a design in uh, uh, normal normal web. They usually need some uh, teamer or developer which helps them create such a design. And uh, if you use paragraphs and our uh, set of modules, uh, the editors can create this stuff directly without needs of uh, developers. So it's uh, really easy uh, for us like developers to uh, put the put the content creation directly to the editors. And uh, <laughs> I think I will. I yeah, will just uh, switch the mic. So uh, the idea behind this is uh, every, uh, every page is actually one node. So uh, you can edit everything in one, one place. So uh, in, in the usual, uh, usual uh, like a way of doing things, y you end up with uh, blocks uh, scattered around and uh, no differences. And if you want to edit this page, you have to find uh, some some node that is uh, embedded into another thing and uh, yeah, do it based on views and stuff like that. So this is uh, using paragraphs, and uh, paragraphs is basically referencing a paragraph entity which can have its own field. And uh, you have one node, all the paragraphs referenced, and all the fields in those paragraphs. And uh, paragraphs uh, widget uh, allows you to order stuff and uh, add new paragraphs. Uh, the base is the paragraphs module. We don't have anything to do with this, but uh, we, were, uh, we created a bunch of uh, modules around, around this concept. Uh, the nice feature of uh, those uh, websites you saw on screenshots is that they go edge to edge, and that's uh, that's often a problem with uh, with uh, basic Drupal website because you have re regions. You sometimes want uh, like block sections with sidebar, uh, front page with uh, edge to edge design, and uh, our suite of modules so solves that pretty well. We have a edge module. Uh, this is. Uh, Allowing you to uh, switch between uh, between uh, the sidebar version and uh, edge to edge version of the site. Uh, then we have a uh, entity background module. Uh, is it? Yeah. Uh, basically, we have a module that allows you to uh, have some uh, different backgrounds on uh, each paragraph and. Uh, Control that from uh, from the user interface. Another another uh, module uh, that helps you do, to do that is classic paragraphs, and uh, basically the idea is uh, you need to predefine some styles and uh, like sets sets of styling, and the user can can um, pick uh, which one he wants. Uh, yeah, we, we will. Uh, uh, skip some slides because we don't have time for all of them. And uh, 
this paragraph spec module, uh, do you want to talk about paragraph spec? Okay. So uh, this is the main uh, paragraph spec module, which has some predefinite uh, paragraphs. So there is a uh, basic content paragraph. Uh, there is uh, some content list paragraph. So you can the editor can directly on the node create creating uh, form, create uh, this kind of stuff. So they can choose which which paragraph they they uh, need. Uh, you can think of paragraphs like uh, field collection, but uh, with the difference that. Uh, uh, if you choose field collection, the field collection is always the same. But in the paragraph, if you add new paragraph, you choose which kind of paragraph is it. So we have uh, juice, juice box integration. We have, uh, I think, uh, YouTube video integration for the, there is no node references. So you can cho create your own paragraphs. But we have created this module where are some predefined one. So. Yeah, and uh, all these modules are not based on features. So the, these are pu pure modules, and uh, you can create your own features. So there is no features overrides problems with, with this uh, stuff. Oh, this your module. Yeah, views filter object is kind of geeky module because uh, you can embed uh, views uh, into paragraphs and. Uh, pick out uh, some features from the big user, user interface uh, of views and uh, show them to a client and uh, predefine some stuff they can, uh, they can select and limit them on, on this selection. So basically you can do things like uh, user comes in and he wants to show latest articles uh, type of, uh, I don't know, news and uh, sort them by latest update, so they can easily do this. So this modules uh, enables you to put uh, a background, custom background to an entity or for the paragraph, so you can choose uh, image, you can choose uh, uh, parallax effects image, so the editor just upload an image and set a positive or negative value of speed of the of the image, so it's pretty pretty easy. And uh, there is also a uh, color, uh, so using jQuery color picker picker module, so they can choose which color should the paragraph have. Uh, this is just to know that um, it's uh, all these um, all these um, types of backgrounds like uh, color or um, parallax effect. Is uh, this is all pluggable and these are C tools C tools plugin. So you can you can just uh, write a hook and uh, define define your or your own background. Uh, there are some behaviors uh, we will not cover that. Uh, there is a nice module with uh, paragraphs navigation. Uh, when you have uh, when you have all the all those paragraphs on one page, and you want to navigate that uh, in some some nice way, uh, we built a module that uh, is ba is uh, based on those paragraphs and uh, can take titles uh, from those paragraphs and build a menu, and uh, we will show you a nice implementation of that in a demo. I think we will go straight to the demo. So I think uh, some of you may uh, already uh, see this uh, demo page. It's the caramel caramel page, <laughs> and uh, the, uh, yeah. uh, this all all page is uh, done using uh, paragraphs, uh, pack modules, and uh, the other modules we have had. You can see here is a parallax image on the on the background. Here is some embedded uh, YouTube video. On the right side, these dots are, this is the paragraph navigation, so you can slide down to some, some images or some paragraphs. Uh, here, can you go back? Here, you, you can see that these uh, jars are filling up with the liquid. 
dynamically its uh, scroll integration, uh, JavaScript uh, scroll li library, and here's some parallax effect with uh, inverse uh, speed. So you can, and this is uh, this is done in the node edit form. So there was no work for from the developer or teamer. It's just the editor create this this page. So it's I think it's pretty powerful uh, solution. And uh, here is the edit uh, edit form. So this stuff is basic uh, Drupal. You have seen a title and thumb, thumbnail, some body which we don't use here, but these are the paragraphs. Uh, so just open here the details. Here is the content of the which uh, the you, you end user see the, this content, and what is uh, important is these settings where you see these uh, classes. It, it is the cl uh, classy paragraph module. So these classes are predefined by the developer, and uh, then the editor can choose the class and uh, it adds the class to the to the paragraph. So is that? It's uh, just update. Yeah, and here you can s see the choosing of the background, so you can choose which type of background you would like to use. Uh, you can reorder the or ordering of the of the paragraph uh, just like uh, field collection on or draggable views. Uh, there are also some uh, some downsides to this. Uh, you may you may have noticed that uh, this form is pretty long, and uh, yeah, I, I actually don't want to add a new paragraph right now. Uh, maybe you can try it. Uh, you can add uh, another. Uh, Paragraph type, and let's try Juicebox Gallery. And uh, the downside is uh, this form is pretty heavy uh, on the server, and uh, every time you want to work with them, uh, it kind of uh, loads uh, slowly. So that's uh, there is a uh, there is a, a place uh, for improvement. And uh, but I, I think this already gives uh, some uh, some uh, experienced users pretty pretty powerful tool to uh, like tell stories and stuff like that. Uh, I think that's all. If you have some some questions, Miro uh, Mamed just now asking. Yeah. So if if you have some questions, uh, you can find us uh, right after this talk. We will be around. And uh, which part do you want to see? Where, where was it? I think it was second spot. Yeah, you said the editor sees this, and then you went right past it. Yeah, basically the idea is uh, in details we have all the content. So uh, right now this is a local machine, so I don't have an image. But uh, let's see this one. This is the uh, this is the paragraph with uh, with all the ingredients. This one. And uh, in settings, you have all the pluggable stuff. Uh, that, was just a, that was an HTML table that we saw there? Yeah, yeah that's, uh, that's just in Visivic. We have some modules um, for extending uh, Visivic too. So uh, you can, you can uh, set, uh, set up uh, the behavior of the paragraph as you want. Yeah, sure. Good question. Um, I need to skip at the end. Uh, the nice thing is that uh, the whole presentation is done by uh, is done in Drupal and by uh, our modules. I need to jump at the end. Maybe this will be quicker. Yeah, and if you want to see the full version of this presentation, it was uh, in LA. So if you uh, look at the look at the Drupal Association YouTube, you can find a presentation called "Power to the Editors." So that's it. Uh, thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. <laughs>